Hey guys, what is up? It's Trick Live. Welcome to another episode of Top 5, and uh, this is a pretty awesome triple feed right at the beginning of the game. Uh, this is not me, this is the person. I've had another game up, and he's, had, he's pretty beast, and he has a couple other gamer tags that I've gameplays from. But anyways, Top 5, this is going to be Top 5 Call of Duty Maps. I haven't done a Top 5 in a little bit, uh, but hopefully this does well. And uh, a lot of these maps you're going to notice are pretty small because... I don't know, I just like, I like rushing a lot, as you see in my gameplay, or at least what you used to when I put up gameplay a lot. And, uh, yeah, so rushing, obviously small maps are better for rushing, uh, hence, I like small maps better. Uh, number five is Firing Range, pretty awesome map, it has some pretty cool nade spots right off the bat, you can get, like, triples and quads and stuff, and that's always fun. And it's a good map for shotgunning, which is fun, because there's not that many good maps for shotgunning in Black Ops, because... Well, I don't know. I, I, they maybe I don't know. There's a lot, there's a lot wrong in, with Black Ops, but yeah, there's not. I mean, there's uh, yeah, not too many small corridor areas. Summit, Nuke Town, Firing Range. I don't even know if I can think of it. Kowloon, I guess. So there's not too many uh, amazing shotgun maps, and I like shotgunning, so Firing Firing Range is fun. Uh, number four is Nuke Town, just because of. Sometimes you can hate Nuketown, sometimes you can love it. Uh, when you're getting those 80 and 5 games spawn trapping the hell out of the enemy, then that's that's the good time. But uh, when you're getting spawn raped, it's probably my least favorite map because it's just ridiculous how fast you die. Uh, but Nuketown's an all-around good map, and that's all the Black Ops maps. 4 and 5 is... I mean, 4 and 5, yeah, whereas uh, Black Ops, the rest is other games from Call of Duty series. Number 3 is Terminal. Uh, Terminal's amazing because of the spawn trap you can get when, I don't remember the flags, but it's when you hold them in, like, the gift shop, and you can just literally spawn trap them forever, and it's amazing. And it's not too bad because I know how to get out of that spawn trap uh, when I do play. Uh, you can quite easily get out of it, but luckily, a lot of stupid players on COD, and it's easy to hold them in there, get some crazy scores, uh, you know, get your chopper gunner and stuff, and there's a window right there so you can shoot them as they spawn. Number two is Skid Row. Uh, Skid Row's an amazing map because of spazzing, spazzing on shotgun. Spazzing with a shotgun is amazingly fun. And I actually got my first nuke ever on uh, Skid Row with a party of f a, f a full six party uh, team I had. And, you know, when I got the nuke, everyone starts screaming. And that's always the best feeling whenever you pull off like a trick shot or a clutch and search or something like a nuke. You just get that awesome feeling of when everyone's like, oh, it's the best. <laughs> Nothing quite beats it. And Skid Row is a fun map altogether. It's You can even snipe on it, even though it's a close quarter map, which is pretty cool. And number one is Vacant. Vacant's my all-time favorite map. Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 also had make Vacant. Uh, both versions were amazing. Vacant's just... If they can make every game kind of like a... I mean, every map a variant of Vacant, I would just love it. Vacant's my favorite map by far. Uh, it's always been since Call of Duty 4. I remember I once got a 78 and 2, I think, on Vacant in Call of Duty 4. Obviously, I didn't have my HTTP VR at that time, but uh, I said it would double to finish off the game. Anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, leave some comments below about your top 5 maps. And yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video.